Time, we came here against all odds. Of course, you don't see? Pamphlets, right, still? Pamphlets, of course. Yeah, let's go. Eli, like read. Do something useful. Let's go. Like <laughs> <laughs> Amud? Chaf. Base. Chaf, A. Chaf. Teis. Chaf. Lamed. Ahim Utar. Oh. Lamed. Later, same thing. Yeah, if it wouldn't come today, I would close the Rashi. What do you mean, Chaf Lamed? Chaf Lamed. I never heard of Chav Lamed before. Lamed, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lamed. Third. Third. We have Shakol. Does the Chakot lecha? We have Shakol. Who else is the third? I think, I, I think I, yeah, but I, I don't think I made the question. Now we're going to make double mitzvah. Baba Ma'am, and also we're going to return the Be'eshivet Ha'avedah Asher Gazal. Be'et Ha'oshek Asher Ashak. Amin. Shatab Lib Racha. בשעות מוריי ורבותיי. שמיים. שהכל means everything was created in Hashem's words. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. אמן. בואו שם כהנים, let's go. האם מותר להגביה עציץ של חרס או של עץ מעל גבי הקרקע ומה לגבי עציץ של זכוכית או מתכת ומדוע? So are you allowed to pick up the live plants, it says. Live plants. Plants. Plants that they are on a... Inside pottery made out of clay, plants. wood, glass, or metal. <laughs> on top of the ground. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so from top of ground, are you allowed to pick up clay pottery? Oh. Davy, what's your take on it? On yeah, not on Hanukkah. <laughs> clay is inside. Yes, clay. Pottery alive has plant. alive plants inside. Can you pick it up from the ground? It sits on the ground. Can you pick it up or no? On the ground? On the ground. It's closed. 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 Pottery. Why not? Yeah. No. what do you say? Read the answer. If it's on ground. Not allowed to pick Still breathing from the, no, taking yeah. from the ground. When it is clay, yeah. it is. It's still be breathing, sustaining itself. True. Ma, bli chorim afilu, bli chorim. Bli chorim. It's by default chorim. Nekavim, nekavim. Halulim, halulim. The clay or wood part pottery. As afilu shen chorim, it's we count it as the as chorim. Right. Why? Because it's pottery. Even wood. No wood, no. Does wood do? Yeah, or wood, yeah, sorry, I meant to say uh, zchukhit no, yeah, zchukhit no. Uh, clay, um, glass, no, glass it's allowed. Glass and metal considered to be closed. Plastic? Well, closed. But wood is breathable through it. So too, pottery, it's breathable through it. Okay, next, number two. Number two, is the soil or dirt inside the pottery mukze? The other day we had here Besamim from Samarkand. Wow. Bukharans love these things. Something from Samarkand, it's yeah. like Habibi. Yeah. It's like Donald Trump's signature on it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Trump Hotel. That, that's for this. Samarkand Besamim is connected Kulam. They put it on a pottery here, and they put Besamim inside there. What the sand? Mayapo, Shabbat. Can you move it or not? Was the, was the sand also from Samarkand? No, <laughs> sand is from America. Can you move it or no? <laughs> Uh, sand is mukte. No, but it's why is the law? It was because designated it for that before and, Shabbat, and and uh, it's not breathing from the floor because it's already like uh, that's that's the source. Doesn't take from the ground. Say better. You're almost saying you're not uh, not completing. The sand is designated like a chnisteva. True, but say better. It's true, but there is a better answer. Remember, a better answer. Better answer is ikar. Uh, uh, remember, we spoke about this. Yes. The plant is the ikar, is the main one. Right, right. What's the reason you have that pottery in here? For the for the plant. So the sand for the hive is okay. secondary for tafel for the plant. So it says tafel for the plant. We follow the ikar, like I spoke about the jacket that you have a feather here. 
Are you allowed to run your own Shabbat to move feathers like this on the table? No. no. Are you allowed to pick it up from your jacket and remove it? Yes. What's the difference? The it's the same feather. Because the feather here is part of the garment. It sits on you, it's, you move, it's with you, it goes. Anywhere you're going, table, you I'm with you. But on the table, it's mukze. So then you will be able to move it in an abnormal way. Like with a fork, with your eta, like this, the back of the hand, etc. But to move it regularly with two fingers like this, you know, and move it to a different place will be a problem of breaking Shabbat. You hear this running? Move a feather on Shabbat, Rabbi, what? You may get you more. Mold the minach. Have a lot of work to do in that case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shabbat has a lot of effect on the Shalom Bait. When a person has proper Shabbat observance, affects a lot of the Shalom Bait. In the morning, I told him a secret. Since we don't have a lot of people, I'll tell you the secret. It says that when a person is coming to the house, he's supposed to look at Yud and Hey. Elia, remember that? What is Yud and Hey? The two candles, the right candle and the left candle. That's Kenege Yud, the second is Kenege Hey. It says, when, uh, when do you complete Hashem's name? Yud and Hey is only two letters of Hashem's name, right? You have four letters there. How, when do you complete Hashem's name? Whenever there is Vav and Hey attached also. When is Vav? And A is, what is the union of that? At the night time, whenever the man goes and his Yud becomes Vav. And her A, it's, it's at that time he's ready to give. That's when you're ready to give, it turns from Yud to A, eh, from Yud to Vav. That's the logic behind it. And then you're completing Hashem's name whenever you are married. Kol HaShavu Belo Isha. Shavui belo beracha. But it says yud, k, vav, k. Yeah, I don't, not to say Hashem's name. No, you have to say yud, k, or yud, and then hey, so you interrupt the letter. But you can yeah? say the way it is. No, no, no. Don't. I didn't know that. Gemara says a terrible thing. Person that mehagi Hashem bauti yotav, en lo chelik la olam haba. Serious thing. He's in a risk of losing his share in the world to come. By saying that. By saying that, yeah. Oh, you didn't know. I Say hatati abidi pashat. The next time, don't do that. Plus I remember there was one time a person. <laughs> we learned slichot. Yeah, there was one time a person sitting in bed. Gabriel, I remember Sudash Lishit. One guy he is a little bit. He needs help a little bit, and he was sitting with us. He picked up the bread, and he said, Baruch ata yud ke vav ke. Lokenu melech haolam hamotzilech min haaret. Karam masidu. No, no, no. Who? Kilo. He's thinking like he's smarter of everybody. I was sitting in the head of the table, and he was sitting here. I said, what'd you say? What did I say? I said, what's written? Said, you know you want to read it. Not allowed to. This is, you're supposed to say Amonai, you would doubt it. He said, Yud ke vav ke. I said, you guys don't, as a, don't, don't know how to read. I know how to read. <laughs> now it's written somewhere that we're not allowed to say it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I opened the Gemara, Masechet Pesachim, Dafnun Aleph. The Gemara says, whoever it says, Me'age Hashem ba'oti otav, e'en lo chelek la'olam haba. He lost his share in the world to come. Why is it so serious? What, what is it, what is there it? is a lot of reasons behind why, but whenever he, whenever he saw this, he got the shock of his life. You know, I, I said, listen, you behaved in a very brazen, if a person did it out of mistake, you know, a beginner, you let it go, he doesn't know, you talk to him different way. But this person comes with brazenness. I know you don't know. That's what a person who behaved in such a way, you have to right away, Veda Matashiv Lapikovis. Right away, and said, These people, Chach. It was like this. I said, Listen, I don't know if there is what you're going to be with your own Neshamana. You did a terrible Averano. You cannot say that to Mashiach. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know how you're going to correct it now. After he heard that, he got really, I showed it to him in the book. When you show in the book, it's very important. Whenever you talk to somebody, you want to prove something, open the book, show it to him. Whenever you do that, a person, it's written. No, Rabbi, you read, I believe you. No, no, I know you believe me. You read when it, it says, Otiot, Machkimot. When a person sees it written in the book, it goes into the heart. Now they think you need help. Right. Very important. Even if you read word, word for word, they listen, then it doesn't go into the same. Into the heart. When they saw in a po, you see? Wow. Finishes their heart and they do chuba in a, a faster way. Okay, back to us. So now, um, yeah, so we spoke about Yud Kevavke. 
Why you took me over there for Eliyahu? Ah, Ikar Betafel. So we spoke about this, Shalom Bait. So you see that Shalom, Shabbat, the keeping of the Shabbat, yeah, is the union of Yud, Ke, Vav, Ke. Yud and He by the... You see, I said Yud and He. I didn't say you, right away Yud. And Yud yeah, and He. Split it. So to the song. Melech, Ashe Malach, right? What do we sing over there? Yud Ve. Yud Ve, He, Ve, Vav, Ve, Vav, Ve, He, Ashe Melech, Ke, No, Ashe Mechad. It doesn't say over there Yud and then right away Hey. It said Yud Ve He Ve. Tam Ve is. Split. Right, split it. Because you pronounce God's name as is. Hashem, it's a, it's a terrible Avera. So on the Shabbat, when a person keeps the Shabbat the right way, he increases the Shalom Bait in the house. There is more good energy in the house. That's why it's important to learn the laws that we're learning. And that's Makor Abraha. When a person is, Shabbat is Makor Abraha because it increases also your Shalom Bait in the house. Your wife suddenly doesn't become the one on you. Huh? Say that one more time. When a person is increasing the Shabbat observance, you learn the laws, the details, and is careful about them, it gives more good energy in his Shalom Bait. The chances of him arguing with his wife reduces. Because there's more Shalom Bait in the house. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat is the power of bringing Shalom to the house. Okay, number two. Soil is inside a pot is not mukti. If you have soil or sand and you want to use it on Shabbat, let's say for playing with the sand, you must put it inside a box and designate it before Shabbat. Then it's not mukti. Good. Three. If there are seeds under the plants, can you open the curtain to give light to the seeds? Oh. So. Now, what do you say about this? We learned it last time. If a person has uh, removal of a blockage, remember, the light wants to go through the curtain. Into and give it to, over to the plant. What blocking it? The curtain. So when I remove the curtain, all I'm doing is I'm removing a barrier. Removal of a barrier. It's not an action. It's called grama. grama very grama. good. Got it. Continue, Eliel. Even if so it, it has says, seeds. Yeah, go ahead. Even if it has seeds, it is allowed to move around, and it is allowed to open the curtain. It is allowed to move around. Yeah. Okay. Meaning it's not mukta. It is allowed to open the to curtain. To open the curtain so the light can go inside it. So, Hoshbaz is wherever... No, not allowed to move around. That's the uh, wrong word. I'll, I'll change it. What's the moment? Can no, no, I, I, it doesn't make I sense. Said. Well, it doesn't make sense. You're not allowed to move it around. You're allowed to open the curtain. Moving around is the wrong word. If I open the curtain, people can understand from this line is that I'm allowed to open the curtain and move around and then put the, 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 the pottery. It could be understood this way. And that's not allowed. You're only allowed to open the curtain because I didn't do anything. But if you open the curtain and you move around, you put the, the, the pottery in there. The it's Ma'asebe Adayim. One word, you have to be metugdak. Remember how Abad Yosef said that when you write a sefer, Review it thousand times before you publish it. One thousand times. You're writing something? Review it one thousand times. He reviewed his books thousand times? Uh -huh. He reviewed everything. There is not one place we caught Avadia. You know how much Torah we learn of him? There is not one place we caught him. He only caught himself <laughs> in later books. Yeah. Never we caught Never we caught mistaken the source or mistaken understanding. Right? Yeah. You can argue with him because you think different. Or you have other sources to back your psag. But if he tells you the Rajba said like this and this page and this, this. Can't. Yeah, I saw him. In Israel, I remember I saw him. I was a child. Yad Zachut. See, such as Chacham Gadol. So Rajba says, whenever you have right, to Kavana, never. Why? 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 No, 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 no. It is allowed to open the curtain. That's it. I know what I meant to say. I meant to say... Ay, ay, ay. So it's uh, control you off. 
it's allowed the chidush before we said that if there is a plant, ah, Mirjon, if there is a plant, you're allowed to move the pottery, even though there's a lot of sand, because there is one flower in there, right? You, have, you can have 10 pounds of sand, one leaf of the besamim, flower, whatever it is, good. Now, what happens if you don't have even that? You just have seeds in there. You look at it. Ba'asher tamuti amut v'sham ekaber. And klum. It's only makom kvua there. It's only buried there. So what is the question to move it? So can you it? move it now or no? That's a separate question besides opening the curtain. Still can move it. Still the chashu. Huh? So there is two parts to it. Yeah, I should I should add this. Even if it has, maybe I should put it on the previous question in the previous edit. This part, okay. I'll move it out. Amir John Chitori, Ubi. Nachs. Nachs is Bukharian or a Persian? Uh, why do you say Persian Persian's a Khubi. Getting infected by Bukhari. Uh-huh. You got effect, infected. Well, He's looking for Bukhari wife. If you get Bukhari wife, Habibi, Muftaq lecha ganedin. If I wouldn't do Hatzal, I'm going inside the house and you see what's the inside, inside, how they behave inside the family. If there is no Torah, what the Gemara says? If there is no Torah, the worst people on planet Earth is the Jews, if there's no Torah. Even Why? the ones that they don't show. Sure, sure. Azim Baumot. Azim Baumot. They, Baumot. Baumot. they have the Azim biggest Baumot. brazen. But Jews. They're the Jews, yeah. Biggest brazen. Zero the biggest brazen. My but, but it's default, we're born with big brazen. What what balances brazen away? Oh. The Torah. So if there is no Torah, you see how they talk. What about Arabs? No, they no. Azim She Baumot. They have the more worst than brazen Arabs. people is the Jewish people. They have more give than Arabs. Give, give me an example right now. Nagli, he can go ahead and say I damn can, terrible things. Should I give him two? two Only Torah protecting us from it. What about the people who are children of Bashanim? Bashanim, Rahmanim, yeah, we have that in us. When? When you have Torah. No Torah? You see, you go to Yeshua, you deal with people over there that they are not religious. Shem Erachem. Yeah. What he told, Abraham Avinu was told, your, your children are going to be like the stars. What did the Mashal Hashem give him? Or the sand on the sea. Why? The sand on the what? On the sea, the seashore. The sea on the beach? Right. So why are you giving this both examples? So they say, if they follow the Torah, there will be nobody like them. Top of the top. If they don't follow the Torah, they are the worst of the world, the lowest one. What's the lowest one? Is ground. There'll be plenty of them. But their quality, worse. You go to a very dirty place, who is behind the scene? Jewish mind. Terrible things, who is behind the scene? Jewish mind. They were the biggest mobsters about 30, 40 years ago, no? Yeah. Americans yeah. 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 Revolution. Ka- Marlos and Carlos. Marx and Carlos. What's the name? Ma- Karl Marx or Max Karl. Karl. Yeah. Who are they? Jews? Marxist. Communism. Marxist. There's no Torah, but it's uh, terrible. It is allowed to move. To open. Listen, we don't need a proof from, uh, from him. No, I don't have a proof from him. No, I don't have a proof from him. No, I don't have a proof from him. No, of course, you're religious yourself. But when the enemy himself is telling you, it's like yeah. God is sticking you yeah. in his mouth. Okay. Continue, Eliyahu John. So, Moshba says, Whenever you have dual kavana, we go by the kosher kavana. So, example, if you wanted to light inside the room and to give light to the plant, that, that's so why. So, you right now have, do you know, I'll tell you introduction. You know, Zakino, by halakha, you're not allowed to water plants. Nahon on Shabbat. Why not? You have the pottery over here, you're not allowed to water plants. Nahon. Why not? 
Because it it helps the plant to grow. But you know, besides water, what else helps the plant to grow? Nutritious. Also, sunlight. No sunlight. The Svidanio did. Vitamins, right? So the sunlight is uh, what helps it to grow. Nutrition. Nutrition. So when you open the curtains, it's like you're giving it water. Because the plant needs two things, water and sunlight. So whenever you are opening the curtain, you're giving it light. That's grama now. Don't have huh? the... That's grama. Oh, so grama, good. Because you're opening the block. Good. But question to you, how are you going to deal with other opinions that say that the removing of a blockage is not grama? How are you going to handle this? It's a big light according to them. You according open, to them, it's the right. You open the curtain to have your light for yourself, ah, and then it comes. So that's why we need Rashba in the story. Rashba says a big chidush. When you intend for two things, one allowed, what's one is not allowed. Which so one that, of the two do we follow? The allowed. The allowed intentions or the wrong intentions? Allowed. The allowed intention. That's how what you said about Sukkot also. But where do we even learn Sukkot from? From, from Libum. Libum. Ibum, not Libum. Libum, Libum is something else. That's a Libum. That's a Libum. Libum Hamut, that's it. That's Libum. 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 Yeah, okay. She's Persian, don't worry. I'm working at Salah anyways, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Example, you wanted the light inside the room, read Elia, and, and you've lied to the plant, that's one. So that, so you will come into the room, it's dark, you want to open the curtains, let's say for the kids to wake up with the sunlight, or for other reasons you want light in the room, okay? So you open the curtain in order to have light in the room, that's a kosher kavana, yes. And additionally, it's going to give sun for the plants. Chidush is here, is even if you intend for that. It's still allowed. Wow. You don't need to get to Pasik Resha concept. You understand what we're saying? Pasik Resha, I intend for A. B will happen. I didn't intend for B. I intended for A. Here says the Rajba, big shocking line. Even if you intended for B also, it also will be allowed. Why? Because you didn't intend only for B. You intended also for B. That's a big line over here. Many times you guys ask me this question. What if I did Pasi Kreshe, my intentions was for kosher thing, but at the same time for the non-kosher thing. Which, which of the, wait, what, it's called Pasi Kreshe or is it called Maase Be'adayim? It's like you did it actively. How do we treat it? How do we categorize it? What's the answer, Mordechai? We'll categorize it as Pasi Kreshe. It's also from the fish and the baby, no? No, okay, huh? The fish and the shah. But that's Maase Be'adayim. Right. Over there, you, you're putting the net actively. Your intention is to do this. Yes. Happened to be the baby also got up over there, besides the fish. So in one Maase, you did, you did Kasher and not Kasher. Action. Here is the mind. It's not the Maase. In one Maase, I have in mind kosher thought, and I have non-kosher thought. Which one of the two is going to rule? The kosher thought. A question to you, Ronnie, what if a person is intending only for the plants? Your wife tells you, Ronnie, can you please open the curtain? The, the, the plants needs light. The fact that she said that you can't do it. Problem. Why? Because what did she intend mainly for? Just the plants. Good. What if you say, Jonah, I'll open it, and I'll open it also for the light in the room, right? Yeah, okay, okay, so now you kosherize it. Because now you did too. Yeah. Now you did too. Got it? That's fine. That's fine because Kavana is for both. But she has to agree. No, no. Well, what is she? Balabite of the house. <laughs> I'm just, you know, letting her know. It's a statement. It's right. A you don't need to tell her the truth. You don't even have to tell her that. You intend for both because we go after the one that does the action, not after the one that commanded to do the action. <laughs> but maybe you are her Shaliyah. She okay. told you to open the curtain. So now you're opening the curtain with the intentions of whoever told you. Who said that you can go against her? What's the answer? And shaliach. And shaliach there is no shaliach applies to something that it is prohibited. Messenger. Huh? Messenger. Huh? 
איזה דף? מה זה אחרי קידושין עשוי? אתה זוכר? בימים מים? כן? באמת? סיימת אותה? עשיתי, כן, גיטים וקידושים. סגולה להיא וסגולה לזה. חדמרת. חדמרת. דול גם. חברותה. טוב. let's go. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
Secular knowledge books are not mukte. Sorry, but the history books of Goim are mukte. So secular knowledge not mukte. History books what is mukte. Huh? What's the Let's see. Rashba and Ramban. And Ramban say medical books are allowed because Shabbat. Say or said. Ramban and Ramban. Said. 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 Okay. Said that. No, says that bitch. No, it's two. Ramban. So it's fine. Yeah, say is okay. It's in general. Rashi Omer. Rashi Omer. Okay, okay. Say. It's yeah. The, yeah, it's the same know. thing, obviously. It's the same thing. Right, say. No, it's yeah. uh, representing if it's plural. That's a No, no, no. Uh, pl uh, present or past? Past or past. Okay. So say is also fine. Yeah. Hala, yeah. Medical books Hala. are allowed because Shabbat is given to us. To that medical books are allowed? Or they say medical books are allowed? What's uh, proper? Long shining. Long shining. Long shining. They say they. Say. Right. Rajma Rabban say medical books are allowed because Shabbat. You don't need to say that, right? <laughs> you don't need to say that. Okay, right there. Because Shabbat is given to us that uh, to us to acquire knowledge. Now that's not the reason. Mm -hmm. No. Why is that not the reason? That's not the reason. Why? That also doesn't. It makes sense. Ah. Sifre chokma. Am young man. Yeah. So any science book we can read on Shabbat? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like anything mathematic, biology, like a something that that has medical. acquired knowledge. I don't know what word knowledge. Wisdom. That's the right word. Chokme. Knowledge so and das. This, this book is not always translated by me. I, I do the first thing, and then the other person does it the way he thinks. So sometimes it so will be a word here, word there. So this is bottom No, it's good that I'm going over. We can this read thing. like medical, mathematics as well. We can read all these. Yeah, yeah medical, no med, yeah, medical is written. It's allowed. I heard not. It's not a divrei No. What if, no. No. What if no. you study no. for exam? It's allowed. It's study for yeah, exam. read, read, read. Rabotai, read. Let's go read. Are you allowed to read bills such as el electricity bills on Shabbat? I get those all the time. Let's see. Bills are not allowed to be read. Oh yeah, yeah, because they will remind you of your debts and cause you suffering. <laughs> <laughs> we are already used to it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> how about law? How about law? You want us to, can you American law? Chas <laughs> v'shalom, zakfira. Yeah, it's not, no wisdom in it. Uh, oh, if anything, if anything what it's if the I need, opposite of I need it for a job. <laughs> okay, need, that's the reason. It's not because of the reason. wisdom. Let's say, let's say a lawyer. You know, for, he needs to review. Can, can I review law? C promise you, in the next few words, you're going to get the answer. Is a telephone book mukta, Amir John? No, it's not. Is a telescope mukze? Why a telephone book is not mukze? No one uses it anymore. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not because true. It's just, it's, huh? it's just a bunch of numbers. It's just a bunch of numbers. No, it says it can be. I'm I, I not allowed to. Maybe I should say, even though it's prohibited to use your phone on Shabbat. Or emergency, you can have an emergency. You can still use the telephone book to find address of your friend. Tell me why, Rabbi Amir. What kind of emergency you guys have a 911? Hmm? Somebody called me. That's all. Amir June. Check your fridge. To use your phone on Shabbat, you can still use a telephone book find, to find an address, right? A N? To find a n address. No. To find address. You don't say n. Like a, an apple. You don't say n. A n. I, I think I graduated uh, grammar school. So you're gonna finish any one week. <laughs> Rabbi Ami, when, if people are going to fall asleep, you tell them, <laughs> Okay, fine, and address, okay? Next, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, let's go, Eliyahu, let's go, let's go. Okay, there's a... Uh, Number four. Is the telescope Mukse? Ashba permitted to use 
Chochma, wisdom of secular knowledge, so manual telescopes are allowed for use. Rambam has a doubt. Rabovadia says since the rule is that if it's a for sure answer, we follow that opinion, so we follow Rashba and allow it. The telescope you come to fix, or if you come to focus and fix the. That's no problem. That's the way to use it. It's like you are using, a, you're putting a standard, you're putting it the height you like it. It's not fixing it, it's the way you're using it. Wow. Okay, number five. I run religious magazines, Mukze. Of course. Mukze Tov, Zashosa Capital. Unless you use it for wrapping up things. <laughs> Wrap up your garbage with it. Religious <laughs> magazines are, are, are allowed, but the advertisement section is not allowed. That's why, really, in our days, there's no such thing as a religious magazine, technically speaking. So. The Bukharian magazine. Six. Six. Are you allowed to read news? Maybe certain ones of these Bukharian magazines are mukti. There are some of them I must have no pritut. It's left and right over there. I see them and put them in garbage. Left and right pritut. That's a mitzvah. But the problem they put also is the Dvar Torah No, I don't know. I know. Yeah. So. Then it's a Nigvi Mezaula. You can't just throw it away. I don't know. If all it was these, not read. If it was not read, it's easier to throw it out. Because it's printed and it was never used for the Kadosh. The Kedusha, the printing doesn't make it Kadosh. Better put it next to the garbage and let the Goy put it in? Better. But if you Yehudim are going to bring it, oh, throw it over there. And you're going to bring it inside and see half naked women there. But how much more so? If, it, if it's covered, so the cover. It's, it's sad. I'm telling you. I've seen unfortunately a few times. It came across my eyes. I was like, what is this? But even if you can't say that there's a Diver Torah, so Diver Torah is inside, like it's in page 40. So the cover, that's already one time cover. So when you put it in car garbage, it's already covered. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea. Every time you want to put talit, you put a cover, plastic cover. Okay, Elia, yeah, read further. Elia, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Top seven. Is the, I'm sorry, six. Are you allowed to read news or articles about wars that already happened in the past? Again, are you allowed to read news or articles about wars that already happened in the past? Wednesday, tomorrow, we're going to read so. Even five minutes, even if you get the five minutes. So if it's needed, guys, at the of course. That's why I keep you until the end here. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so, said, for your request, guys, I will do it. Okay, let's go, let's go. Are you allowed to read news or articles about wars that already happened in the past? So, if it's needed for the public to inform them about a current war, it's allowed. But if it happens somewhere that has no effect on you, it's not allowed. Past wars are not allowed. Shabbat should only be used Here, for knowledge of Torah. Past wars, to know knowledge of like history, what happened during the July 4th, whatever it is. How they did this, how they did that. <laughs> not allowed for a person to read They're not allowed to. Even Jewish history. It can yeah. make you upset, so, no? Because you have no benefit out of it. And it can make you sad. Learning, learning about, about the Bethlehem Dash. Yeah, the, the post game discusses that this is a problem. Wow. Is that not a No. Because he has nothing to do with this. You're like, okay, he, he war. What, what are you gonna do? It's like you listen to the news today. You have names. You have, it's a history, but there is nothing to do with this to current days. It's shocking because you would think Jewish history is the Torah. is a, even Tanakh is debatable. Yeah. So you're saying Nevim and... Nevim Ketubim, even this debate. Wow. Bottom line, we're passing it out. Bottom line. Yeah, it's a word. Tohar Nevim Ketubim. Malachim, Nevim. Right. Gemara discusses if Nevim or Sevitz Muktz on Shabbat or not. Bottom line, we conclude it's okay. Same thing with Megillah, Megillah root. If a Shavuot falls on Shabbat, so how, how can you read Megillah root? It's a story also. Nahon? Bottom line, we conclude it's okay. Bottom line, because there is something to learn from it through current events. And the last but not least, is there a way to permit chess or dice? Regal, what's the last? Regal, look at the last one. Hati avodahuze. Shabbat should only be used for knowledge of knowledge Torah. Of Torah. I, read I, read I read it. Okay. Is there a way to permit chess or dice games on Shabbat? Yeah. Shachmat allowed. Dice games are not allowed. No sheshbish. Whoever plays them does not believe in Hashem. Oi. And even on regular on regular days now, because they don't make the world grow in any way. You hear? You didn't. You have to but read it one by one. They give entertainment. Oh. So what? A naked woman also gives you entertainment. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, there is kosher ways to entertain. It's not. You that's not a kosher one. Shesh bish. That's not a kosher one. Asu be'ame chol gam lesanei. Read. Asu. 
What if you study I mean, your Torah? I like to do shishla, like six and six. It feels a good so feeling. So what if yeah. time. you study? Yeah. Yeah. And the one that slips around also likes shishla over there also. <laughs> Gives him good feelings also. It's allowed now. And then I'm in, I'm in. Okay. We have some does it. Yeah, but wait, so let's say you study Don't Torah forget to make six tonight, hours, tomorrow. you do everything on Shabbat, now let's say you're with your father or somebody. Asu! Yeah, so comes so early he sings. Asu! What do you want me to take a white out and erase it? What if my father tells me not to play Shabbat? What if your father tells you to Mechalel Shabbat? Can you listen to him? But this is not Mechalel Shabbat. Mechalel Shabbat, he says. No, he says, Be'yom Chol. Asu, Asu. That's what he writes. You want to know how about your opinion? He says, Asu. Okay, so those games are not allowed. Whoever plays them does not, does not believe in Hashem. Wow. And even on regular days, they're not allowed because they don't make the world grow in any way. So it's what... Uh, Rav, Rav, those uh, that play... Those that play are pasul to be a witness. You hear? You go to wow. a wedding, you show me Shabbat, you learn Torah, you say that, everything. You play Sheshbesh? Yeah, okay, you cannot be here. Wow. 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 Ninety-nine percent of all the people from so the Shabbat and Samarkand, everybody over there. Exactly. Exactly. The They're all stood there as a witness when people were getting married. Then. Asu, however, read. Uh, only, only for children. However. children. Only for children they allowed. Whoever uh, plays with the them, answer. whoever plays with them, fire will consume them. If you don't want. What age? <laughs> I don't want to hear this. You know, in the recording, you have to think. Let's skip this section. Yeah. She'll take you home. She said chess, shahmat is allowed. Because there you develop your brain. Wait, chess versus also the, the, the yeah. developing brain. Yeah. How is it developing your brain? Yes, strategy. To make shish No, I'm no, no, telling you. Yeah. Because strategy. when you have three, four ways to put. You have to think. Yeah, you make your brain to think. Yeah. And then it but, but it's not only bring you through. It's it's but it also have to do with no, 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 no mazda. It's all sharpens no, your brain no, to no. how to study better Torah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We see how many Chachamim came out of uh, Nardi players. <laughs> how many of them? Okay, so so she'll take a Borim said chess is allowed because there you develop your brain. Magenam says if it's silver, the chess game, then it's allowed. Chida says silver. not allowed. And some even curse the person that plays it only uh, that that plays it, but only on Shabbat. So uh, only to avoid depression and stay healthy, it's allowed to play chess on Shabbat. Oh. Example: an older person who would feel depressed if he's not doing. Anything, it's, oh, allowed. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's allowed for. Yeah, you laughing oh, about? So really that's nice. the only way. Why? Like a tzala driver. A tzala driver drives on Shabbat. So says Ravadia, you'll be allowed to play with a man that he has nothing else to do. There are certain people, Mama has nothing to do on Shabbat. Hey, like, especially now. Shabbat is nine o'clock if you keep Rabbi Nutam. <laughs> so we have a to rely on. So only if he's depressed. Yes, yeah, so he's, he doesn't. Without he, it. He sees his son only once a week. He's like, oh, let's, you know, talk to me. Play talk to me. Debre Torah. Yeah, but you, you already did it. Debre Torah. Maybe, you don't want to like maybe overdo with it. his father, it's like the lunacy we said with the... Uh, children which are a little bit off and the father want to make a bridge and, and connection with them and then that way we make Say that. Good, can yeah. do kumtsis for example in three weeks okay let's go let's go well, so, so, so. says the Zohar HaKadosh Duraka Duraka only chess the only thing you're allowed to play if you're allowed to if it's chess Rabbi regular Duraka. days you can't play Narda with your friends so, give him to read that section again. Can. I'm reading it. Says, it says, Tzadik, what did he say? 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 We're reading in the Zohar, Parashat Pikudeh, page Reish Mem Dalid, Amud Bet. Says the Zohar, del bit tzaddikim, there are Hasidim. Last time we spoke about when a person messes up the ten sefirot. Remember, we said Eser, which is the ten sefirot, three letters Eser. If you mess it up, you turn around and you make Eris. What is Eris? Eris is a deathbed. And Yud, which is Yud Vav Dalit, flip around, becomes Deva. Eris, Deva. That's what the Zohar says when a person messes up his. Uh, Sfirot, his personal Sfirot, he's messing up to the point that he has no sustenance to remain alive. 
No, no sustenance to buy uh, food. <laughs> no sustenance to remain alive. He gets so sick to a point, he becomes on his deathbed. What's the again? The bay is a deathbed. So Gosses. No, Eris is a bed. The bay is deathbed. Eris, so the bay is deathbed. What was the bay before? That we changed the Yud. Devai, Dalit, Vav, Yud. Flip it around, Yud, Vav, Dalit, which is Yud. The letter Yud. Which Yud is Gematria? Ten. That's the ten Sfirot that we have. Now, says the Torah, why do you see sometimes Resh, Etzadikim, Hasidim, big people, that they are suffering? What's the answer for them? Says the Zohar, You should know that if Tzadik suffers, it's not because he has sins, the evil gets him. So where does the sickness come to them? Where the problems come to them? Begin Gemara says in Masechet Sutta, the same concept of here the Zohar says. It says sometimes a person could do so much Torah and mitzvot, he has no sins at all. No sins at all. So why he suffers? Says the Gemara in Masechet Sutta, and the Zohar repeats it here also. Shimshon Agibo, he said, Hashem, whenever Plishtim got him and they cut off his hair, they found out that his strength is in the hair. They caught him and they put him in the pillars They made 3,000 people, I don't know what type of building it was, that were able to hold on the roof 3,000 people. Imagine what size of building we're talking about. And he said, Hashem, he already was weak because already cut off his hair, he lost all of his strength. Samsung, Shimshon. He was holding the pillars of the building and he said, Please Hashem, remember and give me strength. So Gemara says, remember what? What Shimshon tells to Hashem, remember? Says the Gemara, remember that I was a judge, Shofet, for free, judge of Am Israel, 20 years. I did not take one dollar from them. Please, in this Zechut, give me strength so I can put down the building to kill all these enemies, the Plishtim. Gemara says, Velo alta beyado. So much Torah, so much teaching Torah, the Gemara said it didn't help him. You need a bigger Zechut than that. <laughs> Talmud Torah can get kulam. There is a bigger Zechut than that. He says, Hashem, please remember the pain I had to go through when they poked my eye. He says, in this Zechut, if you win, I will give you the reward you wanted. And he gave him the last strength. He put down the building. 3,000 people died with him at the same time. It was the end of it. Tamut of Shimshon together with the 3,000 people. Tamut nafshi in Perishti. And he said, the Gemara, what do we see from here? That a person can know the whole Torah. Be a judge, not a rabbi of a shul, a judge. Shofet, that the Gemara talks to he says the Shofet. Pasuk to the Shofet. 20 years. Imagine what we're talking about. So much Zechut, so much Torah that he was still learning and teaching. Says the Gemara, one time suffer, worth in God's eyes, after you clean your Averot. Worth in God's eyes, much more than 20 years of learning and teaching. One time suffer, Eliyahu. Says the Zohar, why there is Sadiqim that they are suffer? They have no Averot. They learn Torah, they teach Torah, they do Chesed, they're good with people, they're good with Hashem. So why they suffer? Says the Gemara, in order to increase the reward in Olam Abba more than any Torah out there in the world. So that's why Eliyahu John, whenever the suffering comes, when the wife bothers you, when the neighbor bothers you, when the client gives you a hard time, be happy. What do you say? As the rabbi here said, Muchenia, it's a Muchi, Muchi Adboga, Muchenia, Muchi is a kiss. He says Muchenia is, is uh, suffering in Russian. Uh, and Muchi is a, is a kiss yes. from, uh, in Bukharian. So he says when it's, you go through Muchenia, Muchenia is <laughs> suffering, it is Muchi, it's a kiss from Akadosh Bahu to you. Whoever Akadosh Bahu loves, say you are loved, so I want to give you this suffering, so to reward you, Olam Abba. More than any reward you'll be able to ever get by learning Torah and fulfilling the mitzvah. But that's bad. when is that? Only whenever you yeah. accepted the suffering. You said, Baruch Hashem, my wife bothers me. Baruch Hashem, my client gives me a hard time. Baruch Hashem, my boss was screaming at me today. He put me down on the floor. They're like, I'm annoying no one. If you accepted it and you said, Baruch Hashem, you got the reward more than 20 years of Torah studies. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen, amen. Rabbi Hanani, amen,